Hey, Greg here with Science Studio. So what's the difference between FPS, which stands for frames per second, and refresh rate, which is usually denoted by Hertz? If you've been recently shopping for a new TV or new computer monitor, you've probably noticed the specification denoted by Hertz, usually 60 Hertz or 120 Hertz, 240 Hertz, even 480 Hertz in some cases. But what does refresh rate have to do with the number of frames per second that the monitor displays? Well, the answer is nothing at all. In the case of a computer, the graphics card or integrated graphics processor in some cases is typically the sole determinant of how many FPS you see on a monitor. Now what the monitor's job is, is to translate that data into a moving picture. But this is where refresh rate comes into play. Basically, the refresh rate of a monitor or television is the number of times that a signal can be transmitted to the screen per second. So in a way, refresh rate is a type of frame per second parameter, but it has nothing to do with the number of frames per second that enter the screen from the source, the computer, DVD, or Blu-ray player, or channel service provider. So let's set up a hypothetical. Let's say I have a computer that's pushing about 30 frames per second from the computer to my monitor. And my monitor happens to be a 60 hertz monitor. That's typical of most cheap displays. So if my monitor is capable of refreshing its screen 60 times per second, and my computer is only sending 30 frames per second via DVI or HDMI cable, then we're in the clear. Oftentimes what happens is the monitor or TV will interpolate frames in between those that it's receiving from its source. So if my 60 hertz monitor is receiving 30 frames per second from my computer, then it will interpolate in between each frame. If the computer is sending 40 frames per second to my 60 hertz monitor, then my monitor might interpolate between every other set of frames rather than between every set of frames. But then this raises the question, what if my computer is sending more frames per second than the refresh rate of my monitor? So let's say now that instead of 30 or 40 frames per second that my source is sending to my 60 hertz monitor, the source is sending 120 frames per second. What will the monitor do there? Well, there's actually not much it can do. It's, it's really only going to send out a true 60 frames per second because this is what the monitor is capable of. Now, there are instances in which you can overclock to an extent the refresh rate of a monitor, but you'll be lucky to get maybe 15 to 20 hertz on top of what you're already rated at. So if a source is sending 120 frames per second to your 60 hertz TV or monitor, chances are you aren't seeing the full picture. The same case applies to a 240 frame per second source or anything above that. So what's the sweet spot? Well, obviously 60 hertz is pretty common. In fact, most monitors and TVs that you'll find on Amazon, Newegg, and even in local stores happen to be 60 hertz. It's just cheaper this way. And to tell you the truth, the human eye can't discern much of a difference between 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second. But this doesn't mean that you should just settle for 60 hertz. 120 hertz is becoming more and more common. If you shop for TVs over Black Friday or Cyber Monday, you probably noticed that the refresh rates were directly correlated to the price tags of those televisions meaning that a TV with a higher refresh rate was likely more expensive than its lower refresh rate counterpart. If you have a newer TV with a 120 or 240 hertz refresh rate, you've probably noticed that when watching HD, let's say Blu-ray movies, subtle wobbles in the camera or the occasional stutter of something that you wouldn't have noticed in a 60 hertz display. These little micro jolts and micro anomalies are the result of a higher refresh rate. So is a higher refresh rate worth the extra money? Well that's up to you. Some people hate seeing those little micro anomalies and micro movements in the cameras. It seems less professional. Others, like myself personally, enjoy seeing things like that. It makes the movie seem more realistic and not so artificial and stable. Check out your local electronics store that sells TVs and even has some on display 
and decide for yourself whether you prefer something that seems more stable or arguably seems more realistic. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.